Hi and welcome to part 3 in the Particle Flocker tutorial series. In this video I'm going to talk about targets and the steering types that Particle Flocker provides. So I've got a simple scene set up which contains just a Particle Flocker node and some particles and the Flocker node and the particles are attached to one another. Um, there's no targets in this system so when I run the simulation you can see that the particles just start to fly off as a flock but with no actual steering behavior. So we want to introduce some steering behavior and to do that we need to add a target. As previously mentioned in an earlier video, the easiest way to do this is to deselect everything in the scene and press the add target button. So the types of targets that are available in Particle Flocker are seek, flee, wonder and path follow. And I'm going to be discussing each one of these in turn. So the first steering type is seek and this is the simplest type. Uh, essentially this is a point in space to which all particles will try and fly towards. So with this target in place, as you can see, all particles will now try to move towards the new target. If I move the target to another location, you'll notice that the particles will change direction and move towards the new target. So the next steering type in the list is flee. And as the name might suggest, flee essentially is the exact opposite effect of seek where all the particles will try to get away from target position. So when I change it to flee, you can see that the particles fly in the exact opposite direction to the target. So the next steering type in the list is wonder. And wonder allows particles to randomly move around the environment that they're in while still maintaining the standard flocking behaviors. So if I set the steering type to wonder and run the simulation, you'll notice that the particles have much more free flow to their movement, yet they do still maintain separation and grouping. So one side effect to using the wonder steering type is that particles do not honor the position of the target at all. Their movement is completely random um, whilst maintaining standard flocking behavior. So the issue you can see is that they do start to quite quickly fly away from the origin. And this may or may not be desired, uh, but typically you want to try and maintain the flock cohesion as much as possible. Now one way around this is that you can increase the number of neighbors in the simulation, which will obviously uh, make the flocking groups larger, but it still doesn't get around the fact that the particles will fly away from the origin quite quickly. One way to get around this is to have multiple targets in the system. In this example, I have a wonder target and a seek target, and this provides us with a quite nice animation of randomly swimming particles similar to fish in a fish tank but are still maintaining kind of a, a grouping around a central point which in this case is the seek target which is animating slowly around. So the final steering type in the list is path follow and for path follow to work particle flocker requires a NURBS curve to be created in the scene as opposed to a transform like a locator. So once you've got one set up, like I have in this example, when you run the simulation, particles will basically just find the nearest point on the curve to them and start to look along the curve in the direction that they're facing. And this gives a really good uh, simulation of, say, fish or birds flocking together as a group along a path. In a situation like this, where the path crosses over itself many times, particles will basically just choose a random path along the curve and this can often lead to quite interesting simulations such as this where you're never quite sure which way the particles will travel but it certainly does provide some interesting animation. So that concludes this part of the tutorial series. In the next video I'll be talking more about targets but specifically about the additional attributes that a target can have. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.